Hello, beautiful faith family. This is Marisol. I'm so excited to be here to talk to you a little bit about a particular scripture that the Lord put in my heart today that he gave me a new way of seeing it and a deeper understanding. And I just had to come on here and share it with you because it was just really eye-opening for me and I pray and hope that it also opens a new site for you as well. So let's break it down together. So today I want to talk about Philippians 4.13. It's a pretty common scripture, even for new, like brand new believers that just received Christ in their heart. Philippians 4.13 is a very encouraging scripture and you can pretty much read it in any version, but mine, the one that I've remembered the quickest is the one from the New King James Version. And that one says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I know that sometimes it can sound a little cheesy, like maybe you're having a really bad day, you're coming to someone to get some encouragement, or just wanna go, like all you need in that moment is just to be heard, right? You just wanna, someone to hear you, even if it's you're going a little bit off, off on a rant, complaining, or you know, you just had a bad day, you want someone to talk to. So, and someone can be wanting to be super spiritual or maybe they have really good intentions and they do wanna come and tell you and share the word of God with you and they'll share this particular scripture with you and they'll be like, hey, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. So, you know, you can push through this. So I tell you this, yes, it's true, absolutely. But I also wanna validate your feelings because I've been there in those moments where you just feel super discouraged and you have a really bad day. And all you really want is for someone to hear you out. But I also want to tell you this. This particular scripture says, I can do all things, or like if you personalize it, right? Because it says, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. It says, you can do all things. It doesn't say, he will do all things. You're getting it? It says, you can do all things, which means there's a piece there that belongs to you, that belongs to me, that we have to do, and that he will strengthen us. I'm gonna repeat it one more time because let me tell you guys, when he, I was literally washing dishes when this came to me, no joke. The scripture says, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you, okay? You, so you have to take a personal responsibility in doing in order for him to strengthen you to get you through it. So the doing is still part of you. You have a part in the doing. The scripture doesn't say he will do all things for you. It says you will do all things in him, Christ, who will strengthen you. So guys, I get it. The word of God says, wait upon the Lord. The, the word of God says, you know, that there are seasons for everything. There are seasons to wait. There are seasons to be still. Absolutely, guys, I get that. But then there are seasons for you to go. There are seasons for you to do. And in the going and in the doing, is where he will strengthen you, where he will reflect his glory in your life. As you walk in obedience, as he's leading you to do and to go, okay? Now, I'm gonna tell you, this was a huge eye-opener for me because I've always been one that says, okay, Lord, you know, where are, where are you gonna move? I'm waiting for you to answer me. I'm waiting for you to give me this. I'm waiting for you to do that. I'm waiting for you to open this door. I'm waiting for you to give me a sign or I'm waiting for you to give me some kind of revelation or not revelation. He gives me that, <laughs> praise God. It's more like give me a confirmation, right? If this is what I'm supposed to be doing for you, I wanna be aligned to your will. All good stuff, guys. He wants you to be open with him and talk to him about these things. But today, in the familiar scripture, that's what it says, always come with childlike faith, guys, when you open up the word, 
Because even in those familiar scriptures that you even memorize, like in this case, me, with Philippians 4.13, he will give you new bread and fresh living water from a familiar scripture. And I'm living testimony of that today. And I wanted to come on here and share this with you because this was a fresh awakening for me. Where it says, you, Marisol, you, Martha, you, William, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. You can do all things. So there's a personal part in us that we must do. I just cannot stress it enough, guys. No more excuses. There's no more excuses. You cannot hide. You cannot make excuses. There's no more, oh, you know, I'm not qualified enough or I'm not. No. If God has called you, if there is a dream inside you, a passion, something that it's like, man, why do I always think about this? Or I really feel like convicted for these people or for this group. Or I, wanna, I really want to do this here. I want to bless these people, this people group. I want to do this over here. I really have a calling for kids. I really want to go in like, you know, for the homeless. I mean, guys, this is not this is not like a coincidence. These are desires that God has placed in your heart that are yours and that you can do them in Christ who strengthens you because each and every single one of us have been designed for a specific assignment, a specific passion and desire that he's put in our hearts to fulfill in him because we can do nothing without him, literally. And that I can tell you and attest to you. The scripture is correct on that. But this particular scripture of Philippians 4.13, where it says, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Literally, guys, like, mind-blowing. You can do, which means you can do today. What is stopping you? Think about this right now. What is truly stopping you from taking the step of faith? Is it fear? Is it doubt? Is it low self-confidence? All of those things are not of God. We gotta wake up, guys. These are things of the enemy that he only comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And he does not want you to fall into place in the dream and desire that God has already placed in you to fulfill. And if he has put that in your heart, he will give you the grace for it. And Philippians 4.13 says, he will give you the strength for it in him, but you must do. So you must take this step. So I challenge you today, do the step. Maybe you have a desire in your heart to write a book. Start writing the first chapter. Maybe you have a desire to open up a business. Start doing your research. Opening up a business is not as hard as you think. You want to open up whatever. You want to write or you want to write a cookbook. You want to bake bread. You want to make cookies you want to like do jewelry whatever it is whatever is inside your heart you want to go and advocate for the you know for for the rescue animals you want to go and like advocate for the homeless you want to go and whatever it is god will give you the grace and he will give you the strength as you do but take your first step today and watch how god will strengthen you and he will open doors for you and he will surround you with the right people but you have to do the first step and he will give you the strength to follow through and get through. Guys, this is like a huge passion of mine. I really want for people to wake up and see that you are meant for so much more than you can imagine. And you have greatness in you that's just being ready to be birthed. And whatever you have, I need. And whatever I have, you need. We need each other to edify, to encourage. The word of God says to do it to encourage one another, to be there for one another in the body, in the family. So I pray this has blessed you. I challenge you today to take your first step. If you liked my message, subscribe to my channel, Women Faith Fighters. I also have a, uh, a, face, a Facebook page and I also have an Instagram. So wherever you feel more comfortable, join a community that is going to lift you up and edify and encourage you. And I tell you now, it's gonna change your life forever. God bless you and have an amazing day. Talk to you soon.